So, how do we reduce toil? The first way is to look to automate. In general, if a task can be automated, it should be. This involves engineering time to automate manual tasks. Initially, this engineering will involve developing external automation that sit outside the service and run scripts when automatically prompted. As automation becomes more mature, it will probably become embedded within the system, allowing for more seamless processes. In parallel to this automation work, SREs should work to streamline services and improve efficiency. The long-term goal is to develop highly reliable systems that don't require intervention. So, is the long-term goal to eliminate toil? This probably isn't possible and may not be the best use of engineering time. In general, toil that only requires quick, simple manual interventions or don't occur frequently probably aren't worth automating, particularly if a lot of engineering time is required to automate the task. On the other hand, if an issue occurs regularly or requires a lot of manual intervention, it would be worthwhile automating a task to manage it, even if the automation requires considerable engineering time. Remember, Toil is not just the responsibility of SREs. Many organizations operate a shift-left approach where ownership of toil is shared between SREs and developers. Google SREs aim to keep toil below 50% of their total workload and ideally aim for about 30%. This means that at least half of their time should be devoted to engineering projects that either reduce toil, add service features, or improve system reliability. If the level of toil can be kept constant at this rate, it will actually reduce as a percentage of total work in the long term. This allows the service to scale effectively. It's often said that SREs should automate this year's job away, but while automation is generally good and saves a lot of time, it should never be a goal in itself. When considering whether to automate a process, think carefully about the outcome, as automation is only worthwhile if it improves outcomes. The aim of automating this year's job away is to free valuable engineers from manual, repetitive tasks and create space for them to work on innovation to provide long-term value to the organization.